All right, guys, if you guys are looking to make something like this for your closet, make sure you watch this whole video. A few different tips in here, relatively easy and uh, affordable. Uh, we just used a miter saw uh, and some drivers. So, well, we also had an air gun. So, but you know, if you're doing this type of stuff, you're gonna need an air gun. You might want to buy one. But hey, if this helped you guys at all, please drop down below, hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps our channel out as we grow. Thank you guys. How's it going guys? Steven from Break Free Homestead. Today, we are going to start finishing this closet. We just got these floors in here. And we're gonna do kind of like an Anna White type uh, closet. But we're gonna put a partition board up the middle and then we'll have, I think, four shelves over here, two on this side, and then a closet rod, which should give us a nice variation, uh, you know, combinations of, of storage. What we're gonna do first is put the trim in uh, because once that board's in there, you're not gonna be able to mess with that. So we're gonna have to notch out of that board for the trim, uh, but let's get this in real fast. Obviously, we're not doing this inside wall here because we're still waiting on a double door that's gonna swing in and we'll have to put the casing in first. So let's get to it. So we're just using 18 gauge brads uh, with an air nailer, obviously. We're gonna push this down because this is a floating floor to uh, make sure it takes away all the, uh, the spacing on there. Hey, mister. You're a cute boy. You're excited about your room, huh? Hi. Can you say milk? Chucks, I got chucks. All right guys, on my old medical bills, uh, just scratch paper. So what we did uh, before calculating the trim, I went around the room real fast and I got how many inches each trim section was and I just added a, like an inch to it to give us a little bit of wiggle room. And I went and wrote down all of our measurements and then basically I just did the math into how many measurements I could fit into each board. So we have all of our boards here. I'm gonna cut our rough measurements with a little bit of extra in them. That way we can uh, optimize the amount of uh, pieces we're getting out of each board instead of using you know, one board that loses a couple inches or whatever. So let's get to it, cut all these boards to rough and then we'll get you know the perfect cut for that. All right guys, as you can see here, Walls are not perfect. That miter joint is matched right up and then the walls are bending out uh, in the bottom. Same over here. It's a little bit gapped off the wall, but what we're gonna do is gonna come back and caulk that with a nice white caulk, paintable one, um, and it'll seal that edge right up. So we are using uh, three quarter inch pine. It's one by 12. So what I went ahead and did is cut this closet in half Mark the middle and then uh, basically roughed in. All right, so now we're doing our layout. Uh, we went with a 24 inch bottom space, so the floor, and then we'll do a shelf, 18 inches, shelf, shelf, shelf. And then we're gonna run the two shelves continuous all the way over to the other side of the top. And then we'll put the closet part down here. Um, right now I'm just marking out level on where our shelves are going to be so we can put our backers on it or what's going to hold the shelves and then we'll try to get this board in place once everything's drawn up. If you start drawing lines on your wall you're going to notice how uh, bendy and curvy they are. All right guys sorry about the shadows in here but so we marked our lines out and I just went across using a stud finder and I found our studs. It's going to have two on each side of the closet and I just made sure that that was accurate. You're just using a screw that's where those are going to be behind the uh, boards that support the shelves and that's it. We have a shower head on the other side of this so I had to be really careful. I went and measured on the other side to see how far it was so I don't hit a water line in there. That would not be good. Uh, but those are all good now so we'll transfer those stud marks to the other ones, to the other shelves. That way everything's marked out.
All right, guys, so I'm getting these one by threes in here. I'm just using the uh, brass for now. Obviously, this is not gonna be the final support. We'll throw a screw into each one, but this is getting it into place, and it's easy to tack this thing into place and then come back and screw it later. Instead of trying to hold this up and level it by yourself, get it level, tack it in place, come back and secure it. So what we're doing is these four on this left side, and then we'll do our vertical, because that's gonna secure to these shelves over here. We're not doing any fancy miter corners on this, so we'll just butt them up to each other. I think it'll look pretty good. All right, now we're gonna get our height from top to bottom. We're using a laser level or a laser measuring tool, uh, which makes it nice and precise. We'll get that and then we'll notch this one or that 0.75 inches by 3.5 out of the bottom and then we'll get this thing mounted up here. All right guys, so we just tacked this into place on the side here. Um, and now what we're gonna do is put our two other backers on this side. And basically this is gonna get tied in um, with, it's gonna be like pinched in by the shells basically is how it's gonna be secured. Uh, so there's no real bracket that goes in here. Um, it's gonna work, don't worry. All right guys, so I went ahead and cut out our next piece. Uh, it's gonna be the side support for the shelf. And we went a little bit short. Uh, I think it's gonna look a little bit better. Just have them all short. That way if there's a little gap or something, it won't look funky. Cause nobody's gonna tell if there's a little bit of a gap on here cause it's a big gap. So went with that. The shelves are gonna go all the way out here though, but this inch will not matter. Um, what I did is just butt it up here flush and then made sure it's level and we changed out to inch and a quarter uh, brads. That way we would not blow through this other side. Uh, so yeah, let's get the next one going. Oh, I'm too fat for it here. So we just did the same thing on the side. I extended it all the way because there's no stud in the middle there. So the support just goes to the end of the closet where there's a stud. Uh, tack those in. Obviously these aren't screwed in yet, but I wanna see what it looks like. And I know you do too. So let's get a shelf in here. Hopefully it fits. All right guys, the shelves went in nicely. I think it looks pretty darn good. I just went ahead and sanded off some stamps uh, from the middle. So what we're gonna do now is attach our hardware for our closet rod. And uh, yeah, we'll measure that, get those on there, and then we'll put the closet rod in. We just got a normal wood closet rod, nothing special. Um, 